What's up guys? Good morning. So hopefully you watched the first two videos. If not, I'll put the link for them down below. In the first day we talked about why you hate Mondays, why you hate your job, and how you may not be living your purpose or a life that is passionate and full of bliss because you're not following your purpose. Second, we talked about what up until now, and we say up until now because from this point forward, things are gonna change. What up until now has it cost us to not live our purpose? Has it cost us wealth? Has it cost us relationships? Has it cost us our own health? Has it cost us our creativity, our integrity of doing something that is in alignment in our purpose? So up until now, what has not living our purpose cost us? So hopefully you did the exercise and you listed down the things that it has cost you. And if you did so and you were hard on yourself, Hopefully you found some kindness and you forgave yourself and you decided that that was up until now. And from this point forward, things are gonna change. So today, the third step, we're going to identify or start to look at what our purpose is, what brings us bliss, what we do to bring joy into the world. So I want you to do this, get into a state where you can be still, where you can be quiet, whether it's meditation, prayer. For me, sometimes this happens to me while I'm doing yard work uh, or while I'm in the shower, just letting the water hit me. So get into a state where you can be still and you can reflect and it's quiet and think about and answer this question. If money, time, the things I put in place as obstacles were not obstacles, what would I do with my life? What would I create? What would I bring to the world? How would I make money? How would I make a living? And we're gonna identify what your purpose is and what you should be doing with your life. And I want you to do a second thing. Second thing here. When you make these statements or you have these thoughts, there's gonna be a second thought that comes in. That's the but thought. And the but thought is, I would love to be a writer, but I don't have the money, I don't have the time. I don't have the resources. I don't have the education or training. Nobody is going to want to read what I have to write. And these but thoughts come into play no matter what your purpose, your passion, what you really want to do with your life is. But these are the things that have been holding you back to this point. So for me, it was, I would love to be a coach. I would love to coach others and lead others down the spiritual journey. But, it's not making me money right now, or I don't have the time. I don't have the training. I had the limiting belief that nobody would want to work with me because I am not an established coach. So these are the limiting beliefs. It's always that but thought, that second thought that comes in when you think about what your purpose is or what brings you bliss. Is that but thought, that's that limiting belief. So identify those as well as they pop up. Identify them, let them go, write them down, and we're gonna reflect on all those things next time. All right? So do the exercise, consider what your purpose is, consider what brings you bliss, what you wanna create, what you wanna bring into the world, and be mindful and aware when those butt thoughts pop up and just jot them down so that we can look at them. Those are the limiting beliefs. Those are what we're gonna get rid of to help you live a purposeful life, a life that's blissful and that brings joy to the world. All right guys, have a great day.